Hey doggos! Awoohoo! I'm Dexter D, and this is my channel. It's where we talk about how you can live your best life. We'll talk about what makes us happy and uh what gets us down. I'll share tips on how to cope with tough emotions and woof situations and tricks to make you feel good. Mindfulness, innit? <laughs> it features me and these guys. Aya! You're right. Sausages. Hi. Easy though. Plus, uh, you never know, some of my famous friends might Ooh. turn up. Lots of videos coming your way. You don't want to miss them. Stay awesome. Be kind. And of course, hashtag be more bow wowzer. Hey doggos, I'm Dexter D. And I've got a new challenge for you. Yes. It's called the, the 10, 10 Second, Second Gratitude, Gratitude Challenge. Challenge. It's good, isn't it? It's going to break the internet and change the world. All you've got to do is list all the things that you're grateful for. As many as you can in 10 seconds. I'll go first. I'm grateful for my family, my friends, my impeccable style, uh, lemon curd, the internet, my subscribers... Mouthwash, kind people, Watford FC, ah, oh, time's up. So, what's the point? Well, it's scientifically proven by a science brainiac that thinking of all the things that you're grateful for is super powerful. Some people find the more you look for the things to feel grateful for, the more you'll spot. And, as we get better at spotting the good stuff, we're also teaching our brains to be more, uh, positive and happier. So... I nominate uh, Nia and Alan. Take it away, guys. Thanks, Dex. Well, I'm grateful for music. Oh, sausages. My guitar. Sausages. And the gift of my voice. <laughs> Cumberland sausages. A warm breeze on a summer's day. Frankfurter's bratwurst. My roller skates. Chorizo sausages. <laughs> Ooh, did I say sausages? Time's up. That was epic. Thanks, guys. Why don't you guys try it at home and get your friends and family involved as well? Let's start a gratitude revolution. And, of course, hashtag be more bow wowzer. Bye. I could really go with some sausages right now. Ah, woo <laughs> Celebrity alert. Doggos, I've got a super exciting guest today. Please give it up for, for Joe, Joe Snitz. Snitz. Hi, Joe. Hi, mate. Thanks for having me. Welcome to PE with Joe Sniffs. There's 11 billion of you watching, probably more. That's because exercise is brilliant. It makes your body fit and creates some cool changes in your brain. I can prove it. Here is a visual representation of the average dog's brain. It's like average. And here's my brain. It's extra positive, extra happy, and well, extra. That's because when you exercise, it releases a feel-good potion in the brain, which helps boost your mood and can make you feel happier. It's science! So, our warm-up exercise is... Catch! You'll need a ball. Okay, so, you just got to catch the ball. Ready? And... Catch! Okay. And catch it. And catch, 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 catch the ball. Catch the ball. Yeah, I can catch the ball any time. Okay. Walkies. Join in at home. Ready? Run this way. Run that way. Like this. Like that. Backwards. Forwards. Backwards. Forwards. Run, 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 run. Run. Oh, what's that? I love running. And jump. 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 Higher. Fancy. Ooh. I'm tired. Third exercise is doga yoga. Now it's very important to cool down at the end of a workout with some doga yoga stretches. Let's do a downward dog. Dog. All four paws on the floor. Head down. Bum in the air. Oops. That slipped out. Huh? Great workout, guys. You can do whatever exercise you enjoy. Just get moving and feel better. Laters. Oh, I need to lie down. Thanks for coming on my channel, Joe. I feel great now. 
So, how are you going to get moving today? Go for walkies? Get your skates on? Have a dance party? Let me know. And remember, hashtag be more bow wowzer. Bye! A woohoo! Hey doggos, do you ever feel a bit like wah? Or maybe a bit like yo? And everything just feels like it's a bit too much. Like your brain is overloaded with stuff. You're worried about friends, schoolwork, your mum, who when Britain's got time for world? Well, my friends, there's something to help fix that. It's dog breath. Wait, no, that's gross. Uh, I know. It's the canine count. Yeah, that's much better. It's dead easy. All you need to do is follow Duke's big head. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Breathe out for longer. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. The trick is to make your out breath longer than your in breath. Science brainiacs know that this helps stimulate something called the uh, oh uh, the 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 parasympathetic mm, the the parasympathetic mm, the pa- p- 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 parasympathetic nervous system. Yes, got it. I mean, it sounds like something your parents used to remove stains, but it basically means that your brain sends a signal to your body that helps calm you down and makes you feel less worried. My friend Kaylee swears by it. My friend Temmie was like, really annoying me. And I was just like, Temmy, stop annoying me. But she didn't. And my brain was like, fried. So then we both did the breathing in and then out. And it made everything well chill. And now we're like best friends again, innit? A glowing endorsement there. Remember, if you ever feel worried or upset, try the canine count. Take some big belly breaths. And of course, hashtag be more bow wowzer. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. You're welcome. A woohoo! I feel good, na 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 na. I'm such a good boy. Oh yeah, woohoo! Seriously, doggos, how many kind things have you done today? I've done three already, and it's only lunchtime. <laughs> Check me out. I uh, video called my mate Duke. Hey, buddy, just calling to say you're totally awesome. Eh, uh, thanks. Layers. I was extra neighbourly and pulled in next door's bin. She's an elderly dog, so I like to help her out. Oh. Thanks, me darling. I put some slick new tyres on Kaylee's wheels. She's been after them for ages. Is it though? Sweet. You know what? Doing kind things makes me feel totally awesome. Here's why. There's some brainy scientific evidence to suggest that when you're kind and help others, it can promote physio... Uh... Physio... Physio... Oh, never mind. Special changes in your brain linked with happiness and feeling well happier and the bonus is you make someone else feel good too winning since doing my good doggy deeds i've heard back from my pals guess what they've only started a kindness revolution they've each paid it forward oh it felt good when dex said i was porson so i paid it forward and i called three friends to tell them how porson they are oh they made me feel like a superhero i wrote a thank you letter to the bin dogs When Dex hooked me up with my new wheels, I was like so happy. So I decided to make someone else happy. I went to the shop for my mum because we run out of tea bags and she was like well pleased. And then I made her a cup of tea and then I told her I loved her. Legit. It's cool to be kind. Wow. A kindness revolution. That is so bow wowza. Let's all do something kind. And if someone is kind to you, pay it forward. Hashtag be more bow wowzer and hashtag be bow wowzer kind and subscribe to my channel. A woohoo! Hey doggos, Dexter D here. Today I want to tell you about a little mindfulness trick. You might be thinking, Dex, what is mindfulness? Because my mind seems pretty full already. Well, that's half your problem. Let's now time my mate Nia. 
Hello? Is this thing even on? Oh, Dex, are ya? I'm super excited to be on the vid today. That's great. Now, Nia, we're talking mindfulness. So can you tell me what's been filling up your mind lately? Ah, oh, where to start? Well, first, there's this song I've been writing. And in the beginning it went, la 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 la. But then it went, la 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 la. But then I thought, no, that's not right. And then my mum called me down for some fish fingers. And I was like, mmm, I love fish fingers. But then I got thinking, what if we run out of fish fingers? I'd have to start eating peas. But I don't even like peas. I mean, nobody actually likes peas, come on. So why do they even make them if nobody likes them? Is there someone out there who really likes peas? Or is it some big government conspiracy? As you can see, Nia has a lot on her mind. So I'm going to help her with a little something brain gurus call grounding. Sometimes, life can feel like a game of fetch. Imagine your thoughts as tennis balls inside your head. When there's too many balls, or thoughts, it's hard to juggle them. And that leaves us feeling frazzled. Those peas are haunting me. Don't beat yourself up about it. Peas can be overwhelming. Be kind to yourself and try this little trick. It'll help you focus and feel in the present moment. Focus only on one thing you can see, one thing you can touch, one thing you can hear, one thing you can smell, and one thing you can taste. Okay, Nia, let's try it. Take a deep breath and focus on just one thing you can see. Oh, well, that's easy. I can see you, Dex. Now focus on something you can touch. Right here, right now. Hmm, I can feel my duvet. It feels soft and cosy. Now... What can you hear? Um, birds singing. Do you love? Your dinner's ready. And my mum. <laughs> Shamed. What can you smell? <laughs> Fish fingers. <laughs> Ooh, is that a biscuit down there? <laughs> Bring your focus back, Nia. Just one more thing. What can you taste? Fish fingers. Mm. Oh, thanks for the help, Dex. I feel great. Can they, mum? That was just one way to practice mindfulness. Give it a go whenever you need to slow your brain down. Just take a breath and focus on what you can see, feel, hear, smell and taste. And hashtag be more bow wowser. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Oh, um... Hey doggos, Dexter D here feeling super chilled. I've just listened to a life-changing dog cast by Mr. Meal, the world's most famous wooffluencer. Mr. Meal is mysterious and like 100% wise. He knows everything about how the brain works. He even knows how to train it with meditation. Oh, um, That's right. Meditation is the coolest way to train your brain to become more focused and calm. If you do it every day, it can lead to positive vibes, better concentration, and being really good looking. <clears throat> okay, okay, I made that last one up. It doesn't make you really good looking, but it can make you feel good about yourself. I meditate all the time, and I feel right. What she said, try it, and turn on your listening ears for Mr. Meal's Meditation Dogcast. Um... Hello, little doggies. Mr. Miel here. Welcome to my guided meditation. Sit down like the smart dog that you are. Cross your legs, make your back tall and straight, and relax your paws on your lap. If you like, you can close your eyes. Now... We'll take three deep breaths together. Breathe in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Skip it about. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Skip it about. Good dog. We're going to keep our focus on our breath. If your little doggy mind wanders, don't worry, little doggy. Just let your thoughts float past, like fluffy clouds, and gently bring your focus back to your breath and follow my words. Now, staying still, 
Bring your attention to the top of your head. How does it feel? Is it still? Or is your fur moving gently? Take a breath, little doggy, and relax your head. Mm. Now, bring your attention to your jaw. If you notice any tension, just allow your jaw to soften and relax. Take a breath. Bring your focus to your tummy. How does it feel? As you breathe in, notice your tum-tum rise and expand. As you breathe out, notice your tummy soften and relax. Ready for a tummy rub? Now, little doggy, how about your paws? If you notice any tension, allow them to soften and chillax. Take a breath. Mm. Turn your attention to your legs and feet. How do they feel? Now take a big breath in and be aware of your whole furry body and breathe out. Good dog. Now, wiggle your toes, wiggle your paws, give your tail a good wag and open your eyes. Well done, my little doggy friends. You've just meditated, Mr. Meow style. You can do this whenever you want to feel calm, positive, and focused. Feel your brain a bone. Namaste, little doggy. Hashtag be more bow wow's high. Ruff, 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 ruff. Bow wow, wow, wow. Having one of those dog days. Got out of the wrong side of the dog bed. I'm usually so positive. I feel bad. I feel sad about feeling bad. Then feel bad about feeling sad. Ugh. Oh, it's like I'm going around in circles and I'm chasing my own tail, but in my brain. Hang on. I should talk to Mr. Meal, my guru and world famous Wuffluencer. He'll help my doggy dilemma. Namaste, Mr. Meal. Apologies for interrupting your meditation. I need your advice. My day has been, well, up and down. Did you go to the park and get stuck in the baby swing again, Dexter? No, not, not this time. It's my feelings, you see. They're overwhelming. I feel sad, nervous, anxious, angry. Ah, you don't know what to do with your feelings, little doggy. Especially the ones you don't like. Uh... Yeah. Simple. You need to be the dog bowl. A dog bowl? Yes, little doggy. 
Imagine your mind is a dog bowl. Inside the bowl are lots of different types of dog biscuits. These are your feelings. There are angry biscuits, happy biscuits, sad biscuits, scared biscuits. The dog biscuits are all in there. It's normal to have a variety. It would be boring with only one flavor. Sometimes there will be biscuits you don't enjoy, like a worried biscuit. And it might start to take over your thoughts. You can talk about that biscuit, maybe give it a sniff, then say to yourself, I am the dog bowl, not the biscuit. That'll help you manage all of the doggy feelings sitting together in the bowl. You just need to be the dog bowl. Okay, I think I understand. You're saying it's okay to feel sad, angry, happy, bad, or any other feeling. I've just got to acknowledge those feelings and remember, I am the dog bowl. Oh, you got it, little doggy. Now, chillax for the day and toodaloo. That is mind blowing. It's normal to feel lots of different things. Don't feel bad that you're not always happy and 100% porsome. And if you get too many feels, you know what to do. Tell someone you trust how you feel. And remember, your emotions are just dog biscuits, but you are the dog bowl. Hashtag be more bow wowzer. Hashtag be a dog bowl. Bye. A woohoo. Hey doggos, Dexter D here with another pawsome video. I've been waiting so long for this one. My pal Nia, who is a super talented, mega amazing singer, is going to perform. Yes. Hey Nia, how do you feel about your very first performance for my uh, <coughs> humongous dog audience? Um, well, if I'm honest, Dexter. I'm a tad nervous because this is my first proper. Uh, 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 oh, bless me. Performance in front of anyone. A breakout, a breakout performance. performance. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh no, that was my nervous sneeze. Nia, you've totes got this. Remember, you are a super cool, one of a kind doggo with a giant heart to match. It's super cool to be you, Nia. Dex, so funny you said that because this song is actually called Cool To Be Me. I wrote it to practice being kind to myself. You see, I get all these nerves and worries and I find writing things down makes me feel way more positive. Here we go. I couldn't have said it any better myself, Nia. What a star! If you like that, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more songs and lols. <laughs> Hashtag be more bow wowzer. Bye! A -woo Welcome to the news, inexplicably from the bath, with me, Pora Prunesberg. Today, global megastar Drake has announced the release of a new song, being hailed by some as an absolute banger. Rumours suggest that the musical giant has collaborated with YouTube superstars Dexter D, Kaylee Yankaba, and Nia Keatley. No one has heard the track yet, 
But we do have an exclusive statement from Drake himself. Over to you, Drake. Hello, darlings. It's me. Not that rapper, dude. I'm the original Drake. Actor, singer, doggo. The triple threat. And you're right. I do have a sublime new song. It's called Furry Friends. You see, friends are so important. And could even be good for the old brain. It's true. They can make you feel happy and special. Like a superstar, darling. And they can help you when you feel sad, too. So this song is for my famous friends, Ariana, Miley, Hugh Jackman, Goldie Horn, Mr. Tumble, and not forgetting little Simon Cowell. He once said I had the X Factor. <laughs> this song's also for my darling doggo friends. But most importantly, it's for you, my friends at home. Yes, you, and you, and, and you, at the back, too. Here it is. Bertie, be a dear and press play. Whether you're near or far away, we can have fun and we can play. I'll always listen to what you say, making memories every day. When you want to smile and play a game, I will be here to help you bring. There'll never be times when I'll let you down. I'll always be Why don't you send this song to a friend? Or be kind and make a new friend. And don't forget to subscribe! Oh,